Hello everybody, this is Couple Gaming. Today we're trying out mail time. I don't know what the fuck is this, but let's try it out. We're gonna click new game. Now we're having a weird little dude. Uh, definitely somebody who has cancer on the face. Or has been in a very bad... Or, or somebody who has definitely been uh, in a grenade accident on his lifetime. I mean, you can definitely be a, so you can you can just pause it in the right direction. Okay, so you can be a poodle, a woman, a worm, or a butterfly. You can choose the outfit color: green, red, yellow, green, blue. Blue again, pink, then you can choose your backpack, which can be red. You need to just hold it, yeah. Okay, so you can choose just the. Oh, that's a. Somebody definitely took a shit on the leaf. A giant corn, or that. That definitely doesn't look like a. What the fuck is that? Backpack color, right. You can have red. Yellow, blue or blue, or uh, whatever the fuck is this. And you can choose your glider. Oh, look, the glider is... Um, Yeah, I'm not going to comment on the glider because then somebody will call me mean. Uh, yeah, this game is... Yeah, this, this game is early access, so we can just forgive some situations like, uh, you know, the color's not goddamn fucking loading. Correctly. I'm talking to you, you green ass, or blue was it? I don't remember. And we have a game that has pronouns. Mm, just why? It's definitely a fucking she. It's a fucking woman, okay? It's definitely just a fucking dude, a fucking woman. You don't need fucking pronouns. Fucking she, her, they, ding, fang. Fucking. You don't need that shit in gaming. Just. Move along the fucking pronouns. God fucking damn it. Games like this. Just, mm. Are we there yet? No. Jesus, Grandma. At least explain some shit. How about no? No. What about? Stop! Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise. <sighs> Alright. Now don't get too excited, but today is your first solo delivery. What? Yes. My ears. Oh, sorry. Right. So. So we're a mailman. Is this like a mailman simulation type of yeah. shit? Yeah, you deliver mail to uh, animals in the forest. Okay, so this game you deliver mail to animals in the forest. We're not gonna question that. Okay. Wait, no, yeah, huh, one more time. Ah, uh, listen closely this time then. You, you, me, need to deliver that letter in your backpack to a someone named Greg. Deliver letter to Greg. Since it's your first day on the job. First but not last. Right, yes. You probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. I'm top of my class at Male Academy. That means that Male Academy is very stupid people around there. Well, we're well, in top 10. Ish. But I'm ready to learn. So you're just the, like the last one. Okay. Well, it's one thing to learn from the bookos. And another thing to learn in real life. I wish you shut the fuck up and start inter interrupting the fucking old hag. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about the interrupting thing? Exactly what I said. Not to do it. Yeah, pretty much, bitch. Yes, please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, we should do a practice run. See that... I swear to God, I thought that was just a penis. See that penis turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special from it. In case you forgot how your leg works. Yeah, she's kind of stupid. Maybe you need to... Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain Jen. I'll be right back.
Graphically speaking, I don't dislike it. It's like one of those pop-up games. Cartoonish type of sit situation. That turtle was definitely doing something illegal. Hi, how are you here for an autograph? Uh, I do have to get the mail signed before I can deliver it. I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh no! I mean, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race against a rabbit, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, the speed Shelly, they call me. Your name is Shelby, then this letter is for you. Ooh, fan mail of sorts. Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet, she's my boss. Or something like that, I'm not really sure. In that case... I accept this letter! It was delivered to me following Mascot Protocol! I am ecstatic with the service I have received! Five stars! No, wait. Four and a half stars! Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. Aww. Oh, sorry. By, by the by, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise cannot be accessed right now. Maybe Albert knows he's clever. Squirrel man can miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. I was promised something good. He didn't give me shit. Can you jump? Glide. You disgust me, too. Glide. Hold. Damn, you're gliding, bruh. And I heard you gave the letter. Ha ha, did you hear that? Wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Yeah. It's a square. So, congratulations, you earned a square. Sam can sign patch. Yippee! So, Scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little bit closer to being a real male scout. And you get a little by little, bit by delivery, a uh, mail. Blah, blah. You can read that shit on your own. A little bit better at mail delivery. Yeah, it's my tongue twisted in the tongue of the tongue of the twisted. For example, you might have noticed that you can jump by pressing space. Well, by holding space, you can glide as well. Gasp! That's amazing. I am literally going to go touch the ground ever again. Well, sure, why not dream big? Anyways, when you deliver that letter, Greg, you'll get your official mail scout patch. <laughs> you'll be a full mail scout for real. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh. Good luck, Izzy. I'll be here after that, man, eating my sandwich. Thanks, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye. Oh, don't forget. You can press H to check your deliveries in patches in your handbook. Why the fuck do we have a bee following us? That's a that's a very rudimentary system right here with H, to be honest with you. I was expecting a little better than this. <sighs> they have quite a lot of them on there. Glide for fucking five minutes! Uninterrupted, bro? Yo. Okay, just let's go. On this. Thank you. We had a problem with the cat trying to destroy our recording system because he is not in the patch system of the great beyond. You should just jump on the teacup. <laughs> oh, there's something inside. Go for it, my child. Oh. Uh, jump on it. Okay. 
can you do you have a map i'm guessing it's a no because it's quite a small game right by the looks of it oh thumb patch pitch yeah it's done by a single person in a spell of time in her spare time in her spare of time time free i mean she did this while she was actually doing something productive with her life Ooh, money 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 that's Mel Scott, come here. I need you to send a letter for me. Ooh, 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 what you said, Nig? A cease and desist order. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the humor in this is very lackluster. To a child that crossed me. That seems a bit overkill. I have you know, the child robbed me in broad daylight. I was walking with my coin collection. The bag was open, I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air, then I was interrupted by the vermin child, I think her I think the name was Seder. She was the glittering of light and was fascinated by my coins, but I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. The landlord business, you see. Truly time consuming, yes. Anyway. I must say, seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast, it was nice. It's not a popular hobby around here. I generally say offer that Seder admire my coin oh, for one hour only and bring them back immediately. Well, Scout, it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty. Now I must resort to stronger measures or else this child will walk all over me. Nobody messes with Kike. Don't you think this is a disproportionation? Said that is only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions, wouldn't you be called a question scout? Well, I mean... I mean, it wasn't a question. Oh, but you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. So that means fucking go and send a mail and we'll stop asking stupid questions. Glad we agree. Good job, Kiki. Tell this bitch who's the leader over here. Ooh, it's a log. Good job, you found the log. Wow. Great log. Very logish. I see, so they decided to go semi open world but in like a like a closed environment, I meant. Seder? Yes, oh. I mean, depends. Who are you? I am Izzy the Milo Scout. <laughs> In training. What was the last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have a not so nice letter for you from Kiki Kiki. Oh, crumbs. Kiki's gonna make a lucky rabbit food charm out of me. I just know it. Why? If you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this is all blah 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 over. There's just the thing I lost all the coins. I'm beginning to see the problem. I met Kiki while he was back walking back here. As soon as I got my paws on the collection, I hopped up searching for a great spot to admire it. But I didn't realize the bag was still open and now all the coins are lost and I have no clue where they are. Please, can you help me? I'm afraid of what Kiki will do if I show up without them. Fret not, little bun. I'll get those coins back, boy. Thank you so much. There were four coins in the collection. Please come back when you found them all. You fucking suck, bro. The, the, so the, her whole collection is goddamn four coins. Damn, that's so stupid, I swear to God. I was expecting like 10 or 20 or something like that. Four coins? Hmm? I mean, he did have more or she or whatever it was. Obendula Omeglada. What? Obendula Omeglada. Ooh, who is this? Ooh, Kiki. Duck. What are you doing out here just delivering some mail? Sounds fun. What are you doing? I am watching over my turnips. I am hoping to win this year Harvest Festival in the smallest turnip category. What the fuck is that in the background just shaking around? Is that a Pokeball? Or is that just a game glitching itself? 
I think that was a turnip itself. It was glitching itself. Yeah, probably. Well, I think it was somebody else on the right, just, you know. We found Egbert. Can't believe kids these days. Oh, didn't you see you? Didn't you see you there? You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. Maybe you need glasses. Never mind. Well, let's have a look then. Who's this? Maybe I really don't need new glasses. Beg your pardon, who are you? I know what it's I'm in the road around this stretch of the woods. I'm a male scout. Here's an official male scout businesses. Easy, nice to meet you. Albert, likewise. Egbert. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd be willing to have an old man auto. Like a little side quest. See, it's a way to gain experience. Well, your num well our number one is to serve the community. Actually, it might be rule 38. Anywho, what's the stitch, my splitch, stitch situation? So, you youngsters and your slang, yeah, I definitely agree with him. Well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerves. Seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbor who neighbors. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours. Like 8 p.m. <laughs> oh my god, I'll have beating the living <laughs> shit out of that squirrel with a gun. And the noise is driving me. I'll go up there and speak some sense into them. But my knees just aren't what they used to be. So if it'd be so nice, could you hand them this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. And thank you for the trouble. You disgust me. Congratulations, you earned the icebreaker patch. With love, Mail Scouts. Okay, so let's go up and deliver the mail. Oh, it's through there on the fucking stupid ass turnip. You see the turnip? Right there. The stairs, right there. Yeah. yeah. I think. Or not. Oh, never mind. Look, there's the coin right there. You see the coin? Mm -hmm. So it's probably around there ish. Oh, makes sense then. You're supposed to glide. You found one or coin. I don't think that's gonna jump, is it? Mm. And we found the Pokeball Mushroom. See the Pokeball Mushroom? Oh, there's something hidden over there. I actually hidden my ass, but whatever. I see that one can also jump. Yeah, it's definitely a no-no at the moment, and I'm guessing the wood is probably to repair that stupid -ass staircase. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much for watching Mail Delivery. It's uh, definitely a game. It's definitely playable. It's definitely something to do. I mean... Final verdict of the game! I don't know, I like it. The, it's nice. There you go, I don't know. So, thank you very much for watching. Couple Gaming's out.